Hey YouTube, this video is going to be about my experience with uh, parasites and how I eventually beat them. Just a heads up though, this video is kind of gross. First off, let me just say that it's estimated that about 1 billion people in the world have parasites. That's one in every seven person. Which means there's even a chance that you might have some of these or these crawling inside you right now. But don't worry, most parasites are completely harmless and are also uh, asymptomatic, meaning they don't even produce symptoms. Sometimes they will produce symptoms though, and those will generally be weight loss or weight gain, cravings for carbohydrates, pain in your stomach, nausea, gas, bloating, or feeling tired. My story starts on the subtropical island Malta. While I was there, my stool suddenly changed. It became very yellow and extremely buoyant. I actually had to use an empty toilet paper roll and push it under because my stool was so buoyant that it just wouldn't go down no matter how many times I flushed. I thought this was pretty weird, but uh, I figured it was just from uh, eating so much junk food, so I uh, basically just dismissed it. After coming home, my stool was normal again, up until around two months later, when all of a sudden my stool was changing again. First, it was like I was constipated. While I would typically go to the bathroom every day just like clockwork, suddenly it had been three days and I hadn't gone to the bathroom yet. And then when it finally came out, there was a long streak of blood on it. This, uh, of course, freaked me out, so I went to the doctor's office. They uh, took a blood sample and also tested my feces for blood. Both results came back looking just fine, and the doctor prescribed me laxatives, which was completely unnecessary, because what started happening next was that my stool was becoming more and more loose. Since my visit to the doctor didn't help me at all, I uh, turned to Dr. Google to try and do my own research. I considered things like IBS or Crohn's disease, but they didn't really match what I was experiencing. But then I stumbled upon parasites, and I read that sushi was notorious for containing parasite eggs. And lo and behold, I had sushi while I was on Malta, when my stool started becoming so weird. I immediately ordered a product from iHerb, which was an herb tincture with a combination of wormwood, black walnut, and uh, cloves, which allegedly was very effective against intestinal parasites. That turned out to be true because the very first day that I took it, I went to the bathroom and my stool came out as a pile of diarrhea mess and it contained tiny little stringy objects and creatures. I continued taking the herb tincture daily, but it was never as effective as that very first day that I took it. If you suspect having intestinal parasites, this is a great, cheap way to test whether you have any yourself. I then tried some home remedies. The first one was a pineapple fast. I ate exclusively pineapple for two and a half days. And this uh, allegedly works because of an enzyme in pineapple, which is supposed to break down the parasites. This did absolutely nothing for me though, and the only thing it gave me was uh, some serious acne. The second home remedy I tried was eating a bunch of raw pumpkin seeds. But again, this didn't do a single thing for me. And uh, actually this might only be effective against tapeworms, which are really long worms and it seems that I didn't have any of these. After that, I tried a pharmaceutical drug, a so-called anti-helminthic, which is the class of drugs which are made to kill and expel parasites. The product was Vermox, and the active ingredient was Mebendazole. When I took this, this had the exact same effect as the herb tincture. The very first day I took it, my uh, stool became a messy pile of diarrhea, and there were, again, a bunch of small stringy little creatures in there. I then tried eating a bunch of raw garlic and like massive amounts of cayenne pepper powder. I, even, I would even put cayenne pepper powder in a glass of water and drink that just to get more in. 
I didn't really expect this to work much better than the other uh, home remedies that I tried, but this really worked. What happened was that I became unbelievably irritable for about five days. I've never been such a big asshole in my life before. And uh, then out came the worms. These slimy bastards were about eight centimeters long and they were clear and translucent in appearance, except for a few which looked as if they had been filled with a stool. It was extremely weird. Apparently, as these parasites were dying inside of me, they were releasing toxins into my body, which was what caused the irritability that I experienced earlier. I read about different parasite species online and figured out that what came out of me must have been the Ascaris roundworm. I also read that the most effective drug against these was the antihelminthic albendazole. So I went to the doctor and got a prescription for this. The doctor only let me get one single tablet of this because she was afraid of the side effects. And then when I finally got it, I uh, took it and was really disappointed to find out that nothing happened. Until two days later. Two days later, I again had three more of those exact same worms come out in my stool. At this point, I had done all that I could do against these parasites and decided not to uh, try any more treatments. My stool has since become way more normal, but it's still not 100%. It seems that I do have something like IBS, Crohn's, or a gut motility disorder. And what specifically seems to be happening is my intestinal tract is uh, overactive. And that is how my story ends. As a summary, the treatments that seem to work for me was uh, the herb tincture, the Vermox or Medbendazole, the raw garlic and cayenne pepper powder, and the albendazole. That was it for this video. I hope this helps you out if you suspect that you're dealing with the intestinal parasites. And if not, I hope it was an interesting video. Bye.